News that's coming to us out of D.C. So listen to this Metro Transit Police. They're investigating an armed robbery that led to a Metro bus being hit by bullets. All right, this was an A8 bus. This happened along Galveston Street in Southwest about four hours ago. So police say it began as an attempted armed robbery that took place away from the bus, okay? But then the victim ran to the bus for safety, and the gunman followed that person onto the bus. Police say the gunman robbed the victim, got off the bus, and then took a few shots at the bus, and then got into a vehicle and sped away. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Update on a story, though, that we brought yesterday is breaking news. You might remember this Metro bus was hit by gunfire, the A8 bus in Southwest DC. Police say gunmen followed someone onto that bus. They robbed them of a jacket, and then as they got off, they fired back at the bus. Now, fortunately, no one was hurt. Tonight, police have arrested two young men, ages 18 and 19. The charges include robbery and assault with a deadly Today, we will discuss the arrest of young foot soldier Dre Servan and YFS Baby Joe. Allegedly, Foot, Dre, and Baby Joe were in a free car when they spot a teen with a moose knuckle coat on. After spotting him, the three would hop out that ride and try to hawk him down and take his coat. But the teen would hop on a metro bus after hopping on the bus foot, and Baby Joe would follow him on the bus demanding his moose knuckle coat. The teen would hand over the coat, and the three suspect would hop back in the free car while hopping in, they notice the teen recording them as they notice they start unloading on the bus. Let's get into the paperwork. On January 24th, 2024, at approximately 12.35 hours, the Metro Transit Police Department, MTPD, responded to a call for service for the report of a shooting aboard Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, WMATA, Bus 7205 that occurred at Galveston St. SW and South Capitol St. SE, Washington, D.C. The complainant RM, whose identity is known to law enforcement and hereafter referred to as C1, reported that it was walking on Livingston RDSE, wearing a black moose knuckle coat when it observed an individual exit, a blue sedan with an AR-15 style firearm. C1 screamed and hid behind cars parked along the street. While hiding behind the vehicles, C1 observed W Mata Metro Bus 7205 driving down Livingston Road. C1 began banging on the bus door and yelling, Let me on the bus! Let me on the bus! The bus operator opened the door and allowed C1 to board the bus in the middle of the road. As C1 boarded the bus, it could be overheard on the recorded video from the bus yelling, They're trying to take my coat. A review of the video from the Metro Bus revealed the following. Immediately before boarding the bus, C1 can be observed running toward the bus being chased by three suspects. Given the distance from this particular video, the three suspects cannot be identified. After C1 boarded the bus, it took off its coat and placed the coat in the front of the bus. As the bus driver continued driving the bus, the driver looked in the rear view mirror and announced to C1 that they were following the bus. Approximately four minutes after C1 boarded the bus, as the bus approached the intersection of Galveston St. SW and South Capitol St. SE, video from the Metrobus shows a blue Infiniti Q60 coupe bearing a Virginia paper license plate X96398 pull in front of the bus. The footage shows a black male wearing a black hoodie, dark pants, a black face mask, and green and white scarf, later identified as Stephen Metz, Jr exit the passenger door of the vehicle with an AR-15 style firearm and a second suspect wearing a red and black jacket and dark pants, later identified as Kendra Carroll, exit the vehicle's driver door armed with a handgun. Metz and Carroll approach the bus and the bus operator open the doors. The video shows Metz boarding the bus through the front door and Carroll boarding the bus through the rear door. As Metz and Carroll approach the bus, C1 can be heard telling the bus driver to go as another female passenger can be heard crying and saying something to the effect that we are all going to die. The footage shows Metz yelling, take your coat off, as C1 directs Metz to the location of the coat. Metz grabbed the coat off the bus floor and returned to the car. C1 reported that Carol then asked C1 what was in its pockets and proceeded to pat down C1's pockets. C1 stated its phone fell out of his pocket but Carol did not take it. 
Carol fled from the bus and retreated to the Blue Infiniti. Before getting in the Blue Infiniti, Metrobus footage shows Carol pointing a handgun with an extended magazine at a car that was passing through the intersection. The footage also revealed that a third person remained in the suspect vehicle as Carol and Metz robbed C1, as the front passenger seat was seen being manipulated by a person in the rear seat. A photograph of the suspect vehicle is below. The Metrobus footage also revealed that C1 picked up its phone and began recording Metz and Carol in an attempt to capture the suspect vehicle's license plate. As the bus began to pull off, the suspects noticed C1 recording and started shooting at the bus. Metrobus footage recorded a barrage of gunfire, nine or ten shots, as the bus pulls away. Several shots are heard striking the bus. Occupants on the bus can be observed attempting to take cover. As a passenger is heard crying in the background, the driver continued driving the Metrobus for a few blocks until police were notified. Below are still images of Metz and Carol captured from Metrobus 7025 surveillance footage. The first still image depicts Metz carrying the black and tan AR-15 firearm as he exits the blue Infiniti to approach the Metrobus. The second still image depicts Metz as he first steps onto the Metrobus. The third still image depicts Metz continuing to carry the black and tan AR-15 firearm. The fourth still image depicts Metz exiting the Metrobus carrying C1's coat. Of note is the unique silver-colored Moose Knuckle logo on the sleeve. Footage from the Metrobus also captured Carol. The first image depicts Carol exiting the suspect vehicle from the driver's seat as he approached the Metrobus. The second image depicts Carol after he and Metz departed the Metrobus with C1's coat. A driver passing through the intersection honked at Carol, prompting Carol to point his handgun with an extended clip at the passing vehicle. MTPD crime scene search. CSS officers responded and processed the scene. From the location where the suspects fired their weapons near the intersection, MTPD CESS officers located seven spent cartridge casings and three relatively intact projectiles. The head stamps and number of casings recovered are as follows. Two SR-9 MM Luger cartridge casings, four WMA-18 cartridge casings, and one PPU-9 MM Luger cartridge casing. January 23rd, 2024. Homicide MTPD detectives were notified by the Metropolitan Police Department, MPD, of a homicide that occurred on January 23rd, 2024, at 2100 hours, MPD CC 24011522, in the 3000 block of Martin Luther King Jr. AVSC, Washington, D.C., involving a blue Infiniti Coupe. In addition to the suspect vehicle matching both the January 23rd, 2024 homicide, and the January 24th, 2024 Metrobus armed robbery. The head stamps on the cartridge casings recovered from the scene of the homicide included SR 9M Luger cartridge casings and PPU 9M Luger cartridge casings, which are the same head stamps as three of the cartridge casings recovered from the scene of the Metrobus armed robbery. A preliminary Nibin link has been reported between casings from both scenes, but has not been confirmed. Identification of the suspects. Assisting MTPD investigators utilized photographs of the two suspects taken from Metrobus surveillance footage to generate a be on the lookout, BOLO, bulletin disseminated to law enforcement throughout the region. MPDC officer T. Amarant West Hash, 4959, viewed the previously mentioned BOLO and relayed to Detective Twentyman that he recognized the suspect pictured in the BOLO wearing a red and black coat as Carol, whom he had arrested in June 2023 and charged with various drug and firearms-related offenses. Additionally, during the investigation into the offense, it was learned that an ATF MPD Nibin, Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives Metropolitan Police Department's National Integrated Ballistic Information Network Investigations. Unit have been investigating a string of violent shootings and robberies in the District of Columbia within a span of six, six days. Through the investigation, Detectives had developed Metz and Carroll as two suspects in the string of violent crimes. During the course of the investigation, several publicly viewed Instagram accounts were identified as being attributed to Metz and Carroll and were being monitored by investigators. Detective O'Bannon, assigned to the investigation,
viewed the bolo bullet in related to the robbery and shooting aboard the Metro bus and positively identified Carol and Metz as the two suspects featured in the bolo. Detective O'Bannon also provided screenshots and video recordings obtained from various Instagram accounts associated with his investigation. These images depict Carol wearing clothing that is similar to what he wore during the armed robbery of C1. The most noticeable similarities are seen between the coat and keychain hanging from his belt that Carol is observed wearing in the Instagram posts made within the last month. Below are two photographs taken from Instagram along with a photograph taken from the Metrobus footage. Your affiant would also note that the scarf over Carol's head in the Instagram photographs is consistent with the scarf Metz is observed wearing when he enters the Metrobus on January 24, 2024. On January 24, 2024, MPD 7D CST officers located a blue Infiniti Q60 coupe bearing a Virginia paper sense plate X96398 with a red interior in front of 3586 St. S.E. Washington, D.C. Visible on the exterior F the vehicle between the hood and the windshield was a spent cartridge casing. Technicians from the Department of Forensic Sciences, DFS, responded to the scene to collect the spent cartridge casing and assist with the vehicle's recovery. CCTV footage from Mississippi AVSE and Wayne PISE was viewed YMT PD detectives, which revealed the suspect vehicle traveling on Mississippi AVSE towards 6th Street E, a short time after the armed robbery and shooting on the Metrobus. Additional surveillance footage vibes recovered from the area of 3506 Street SE that showed three individuals walking away from the Uspect vehicle after it parked. Two of the individuals were wearing clothing consistent with what was worn by Metz and Carroll during the armed robbery of the Metrobus. The third individual was wearing a jacket consistent with C1's coat while the vehicle was being recovered in the 3500 block of 6 asterisk St. SC. Washington, D.C. MPD officers lured gunshots in the area behind them in the direction of 35026 Street, S.C. A group of officers approached the building and three individuals were observed running from the back of the building area. One of the individuals running was wearing a black moose knuckle jacket. Officers stopped the individual, identified as Javante Wallace, however. He refused to comply with directives from law enforcement. Eventually, Wallace complied, and officers recovered from an AR-15 from the immediate area where he was stopped. The second individual running was wearing a black hoodie underneath a camouflage coat and carrying a duffel bag. As the second individual ran, he dropped a black gun with an extended magazine and a switch that makes the weapon fully automatic. The second individual continued running, dropping the duffel bag before he was ultimately stopped by law enforcement. Recovered from within the duffel bag, were two additional firearms. The second individual, identified as Metz, was wearing a black hoodie with an emblem on the chest, consistent with what is observed in the Metrobus video, and was carrying a black ski mask also consistent with what is worn in the Metrobus video. The third individual running was wearing a coat that is black on top and a reddish color on the bottom, consistent with what Carol was observed wearing in the Metrobus video. The third individual made good his escape, Metz and Wallace were both placed under arrest. At the time of arrest, Metz was wearing a hoodie underneath his coat, consistent with what he was observed wearing during the armed robbery on the Metrobus, specifically a black hooded sweatshirt with a circular emblem. Additionally, at the time of his arrest, Metz was in possession of a black Glock handgun with an extended magazine consistent with the firearm used by Carroll during the armed robbery of C1. When arrested, Wallace was wearing a black moose knuckle coat consistent in appearance with C1's stolen coat, and he was carrying a black and tan AR-15 firearm consistent with the firearm used earlier that day by Metz during the armed robbery of C1. Photographs below depict Wallace and the black and tan AR-15 firearm he possessed when arrested next to the black and tan AR-15 firearm used by Metz. That's the end of this episode, like, comment, subscribe. Follow Stroffing DMV on Instagram for latest channel updates and news. 
Let me know what other videos you guys want to see.